Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you, whatever your time zone is on today. Just want to share a brief word of encouragement with you. We are brand new um, season right here, right now. We are in um, the third day in this brand new month. And more than anything, it's a brand new year. And um, our expectation um, during the course of last year, you may have had ups, you may have had downs, Maybe you started the year with great intentions and didn't follow through. And I come to encourage you today that we have come to a brand new season. And it is now time for us to put into practice the things that we were speaking of, the things that we were praying for, the things that we were believing for, the things that we were trusting for, the things that we were hoping for. This year, this time, this season, allow God to make manifestation of what you have been praying over. I wanna read with you a, a word today of encouragement that it will help to encourage you before I pray, that you will understand that God is always in control of everything in your life. Don't ever take it for granted and don't ever make the mistake to think that he's not concerned for your welfare. He is concerned for everything in and through your life. He is in control. Turn with me if you have your Bibles to Job um, 22 from verse 21. And here I read, agree with God and be peace. Thereby good will come to you. Receive instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. Now, I, I believe that we have to understand that when you come into agreement, when you make an agreement with someone, some people shake on an agreement. Some people write something down. Um, some people, when you speak to them, and I've known it to be done, they say, I say, do you give verbal consent? Do you give permission? They say, yes, I agree. When you make a call and you're speaking to someone on the phone, and it, whether it's to do with a bill or something else, they'll ask you, do you give permission? for us to discuss this, it's being recorded. Are you happy with that? You say, yes, I agree. Now, if you don't agree, you will say, no, I'm not comfortable with that. So I'm not gonna agree. This word just today is saying here, this is a powerful word, agree with God, glory, and be at peace, thereby good will come to you. So you have to come into glory to God. I feel this word in agreement this year with the heavenly father and the angelic host that you agree that what God has for you, Shekhandaba, it is the best that he has for you in 2022. Glory to God. It says agree with God and be at peace. That means when you are at peace, you don't have any struggle in your mind that you are saying I can't deal with this because you are at peace because you're allowing God to work it out. So you are at peace while God is already working it out. So I encourage you today, agree with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. So tell yourself today, touch yourself and say good is coming my God to me glory good is coming to me good glory to god is coming to me because i agree with god he said receive instruction from his mouth and lay his words in your heart that means that when you agree with god you take his words you believe him you stand on the authority that when you say that god said he's gonna do it you're not and he's not a god that he should lie and he's not a man that he should lie. Neither will he say something and it's not done. He keeps his promises. He fulfills what he has for us. And, and I believe in further on, on in this scripture, in verse um, 27, he says, you will make your prayer to him and he will hear you. Glory to God. You will decide on the matter and it will be established for you and light will shine on your ways. That's my word for you today. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you this word. If I can't give you anything else, agree with God. My God, he has the matter of glory settled. And when you believe him and you trust him, when you pray on a matter, bring it to him. He already will deliver what he has. He will come through good on his end. Now you have to trust him with the assurance 
that you're going to stand on your side and your agreement is saying, God, I trust you. Glory. I trust you. I believe you. And I know that you're coming through. And he's saying, I am already going to do what you need. It's already settled. The matter is already in hand. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. And I don't know if you're hearing this now or you're going to hear this in a week's time or in a month's time. But this word is saying that you need to stay in agreement with God. Glory to God. Stay in the belief system that he is able. Glory. Stay in the belief system that he didn't bring you, Shayama, this far. Glory to God. To leave you. He didn't bring you out of 2021 into 2022 to leave you to suffer. He did not bring you, Koshaya, this far to leave you. He didn't teach you to swim, to let you drown. That's why he provides everything in place that when you feel you are sinking, he brings somebody, has a life jacket glory, as a life boat. And when you look, you feel like you can't see help. Somebody's coming to help to pull you up. And then you look on the other side because he keeps his promises and he promises to keep you. If you abide in him and his word in you, if you agree with him and he agrees with you, it is settled. Whatever you ask, it shall be done. It will be established and light will shine upon it. So this word of encouragement today, Job 22, I've been reading this from the latter part of last year. The Holy Spirit was dealing with me and I believe that everything that we are believing God for it is settled. Allow his word to be on the inside. Hide it on the table of your heart. Use it and continue to use the word as your lamp, as your light, as your guide. And for those of you that it's your first day back at work for this year, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Look around your establishment. If you're own business owner and you're in your look around and say, thank you, Jesus. You have brought me thus far. I'm in the position where I can still give. I can still sow. I can still give the praise. Some people are standing up this morning or waking up and I have not got what you have. And I prayed this the other day. Many complain. I have not got enough food. Many complain. I've got this, but some have less. Some have no one. Some have lost family. Some have lost loved ones during the closing part of the year. So when we spend time complaining, we are not trusting God and saying yet that we don't believe that he has the ability to keep us. So even in your distress, trust him. He says, I must tell Jesus glory. I cannot bear these burdens alone. He says, in my distress, kindly he will help me he ever loves and cares for his own if he loves you and he cares for you and i know he does he will keep you and all you need to do is to stand in the power of agreement i'm gonna pray let me just give you this real quick if you are in agreement with someone and they say to you do something wrong and you agree with them even when you've changed your mind i don't know this somebody needs to hear this even when you've changed your mind and you want to step back and say i'm not going to do it you feel bad on the inside because you told them yes so at some point you agreed thank god with them and you agreed with what they were going to do and now you said i'm not going to be in agreement with you anymore but something is inside of you saying well no, why did you agree in the first place? So I come to tell someone today, if you made an agreement with the enemy, I come to tell you today, whose side are you on? Take back what you said, retract it, Kosha, and say, God, I'm sorry, I repent. I should never have agreed to what they said because it's not your will for my life i agree with you heavenly father today yes god we lift up your name we thank you for another day another season glory thank you god for your power that ignites and moves on the inside of every area of our lives i pray in the name of jesus this monday this word of motivation will motivate us to move forward to press towards the mark of the prize of the higher calling which is only to be found in you christ jesus thank you for another working week thank you for a brand new year 
Thank you for a brand new season. You are the same God. Yes, Lord. And I thank you for as you move forth in our lives, you will give us understanding and clarification on where you need for us to go, what you need for us to do, the ability wherewith we stand. He said on Christ, Lord, am I in a bush? The sun rock in a bush. I stand all other ground. is sinking sand. We do not want to stand on the sinking sand so we can't to you right now, God, you are the solid rock. Thank you, Lord, for every individual listening right now under the sound of my voice. Every country, town, city, village, every person listening, child, whether they be grown, oh my God, teenagers, our young men, our older men, our women, our leaders, our ministers, everyone in their respective place. Cover your people all over the world in our WhatsApp groups messenger in every place god in every page in everything that we do god let your name be glorified we come in agreement with you today we thank you for this word as we get ready to approach a, a month uh, and a season of fasting and consecration during this season god help us not to put anything above and before you but we will put them at the back and leave forward and trust in you glory we put the world behind us and the cross before us. there is no turning back in a bush i've made up my mind they call my glory to god to move and to press and to keep walking as we push in prayer for the anointing to release and break every struggle thank you today god for this word and i pray you cover everyone that is listening right now if they're even on their way to work they're coming home in the middle of the morning if they even listen later on at night it will prick the hearts of every believer and those who do not know you we offer salvation john 3 16 says for god so love so love and glory the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish whatever lasting life will be theirs we thank you god that there is still life for a look at the crucified one thank you for a new day new season new opportunity new doors are open thank you for double of the anointing double in strength double in power and i praise you for everyone going to work school their jobs whatever they are doing during the course of this week cover them god motivate them catapult them into the breakthrough season glory as we speak in the manifestation we don't wait until the battle is over but we are shouting now and we thank you for the victory that we have already won thank you today god cover the lives of those in hospitals in institutions and those who are struggling those who are shutting those who are alone isolated confused abused feeling misused feeling mistreated i pray today you cover those in every area in every aspect the homeless those in institutions those who are locked out locked in whatever the circumstance meet them at the point of their need god we thank you for your grace and your strength and your everlasting mercy that continues to flow new every morning thank you for the mercy of the lord cover us today in the name of jesus and every kpw 365 member in whatsapp in instagram my god in every place youtube everywhere that we go and minister god reach the lives of every individual in the name of jesus we give you glory we give you honor and let the words of my mouth god the meditation of my heart lord let it be acceptable in your sight you are my strength and you are our redeemer we thank you for the victory in the name of jesus amen and amen god bless you on today i am so glad that i was able to come on and share just a brief word of encouragement with you for those of you that understand the power of prayer and for those of you that understand that we have to press and we cannot afford and allow the enemy to stop the season that is ahead and for what god is about to do get ready i'm excited for a brand new week a brand new month and a brand new year of greater of the revelation and manifestation of the power of god god bless you i'll meet you again on here later on this week as we move into prayer become aggressive be consistent stay in prayer and allow the enemy to know that you cannot be messed with because if you give him the opportunity he gonna mess you up so before he even tries get up and mess him up and do it the time and season and uh, he doesn't even say well when what well, i thought she was praying on monday no she gone in sunday night and i didn't expect that mess him up damage him and don't leave any trace kill him destroy him because he has no power neither authority over your design for what god has for your destiny god bless you be encouraged become aggressive in your prayer life as we prepare for consecration and fasting coming up this thursday continue to praise i pray for you
you pray for me and we're going to watch God take us higher in the realm together. God bless you. Be encouraged. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit.